right, so I'm recording a video on how to wire a GE uh, Z-Wave on a four-way circuit. I had a few issues with this. I had to do some digging to figure out exactly how to make it work. So I figured I'd record it in case it could help anybody else out. So this switch on the right here, this is my whole lights behind me, which we're not going to worry about that. But on the four-way, this switch on the, on the right powers these lights and so that switch on the right also has I've already got the Z-Wave switches installed here's the second switch and then over here is the third, third switch okay so as you can see I was able to figure it out here got them off there and then this one goes on. So the the switch over there at the bottom of the stairs, that's where the power is coming in. So that has to be your, your master switch. That needs to be a regular either Z-Wave switch or dimmer. It's got the little LED light at the bottom to tell you which is which. And then this is an add-on switch. See, it doesn't have the LED indicator at the back or at the front. And then that one is also an add-on switch on that side. So the way I had to do this, I don't have a diagram for you, but my layout was a little bit different than what I saw on some of the videos online. I've got power coming in right here where this red wire nut is. So the power comes in here and it goes to this switch. As I said, it has the LED light on there. If I turn it off, you'll see the light come on. I've got a dimmer, so it takes a minute for it to go on and off. Um, so anyway, uh, right here is where the power comes in on the master switch. So I've got power here and then this red and black wire go over to that box that I just came from. Um, as you've probably seen before in the instructions or any of the tutorials online, you do have to have a neutral wire um, in order to operate these. Uh, but these these two, this red and this black wire, go from here over to this switch. And the way I have to do this, because uh, the diagrams I've seen, uh, it's a complete circuit. So in, I guess, most or at least some situations, you'll have power come from here, uh, back to here, over to there and then it'll power your lights. But in my case, I've got the master switch over there. And so what I've had to do is on these add-on switches, all you have is a neutral and you get the traveler. So I had to splice my travelers together. So basically what I've got going on here, um, that red wire I showed you, the traveler from the other box is right here. And I originally, just to get myself, make sure it would work, I plugged it directly into here and left this other switch completely out of the circuit. So this, this red wire needs to get into here. Now, after I got that working, I wanted to add that second switch into the circuit. Um, I've got Traveler coming in, and then I've got another one. Uh, I've got it spliced to the one going to the other outlet. And then I would have made this a red wire if I had one just to keep things consistent, but uh, I did not have any. So uh, anyway, so I've got coming in from the other box here, I spliced what would be the three travelers together. So traveler coming into here. And then this one you'll see going out to the other box, I've gotten the same location on that add-on switch. Um, for the neutral wires, it's the same thing. So neutral wire coming in from the other box, uh, uh, all spliced here together um, and then that that neutral wire goes back to the other box and then also um, you can't really see it here but you got your new the actual light in my case is right back here so right here where you see these tied together is my light so I've got a neutral all four neutrals tied together here and then um, that red and black wire that came from over here where the power was, uh, I tie this black wire to this one for the light. So the hot wire coming in over here powers straight to the light, 
and then travelers uh, go out that way. So at the end of the day, in my case, I've got the neutral, I've got the traveler here, and then the black is just kind of out of it. Um, it's not connected back to that other light so, uh, switch, I'm sorry. So you'll see when I go back over here, on this last switch, see that black wire is just hanging out there? All I've got is that red wire, that traveler, and then the neutral. And that's the only thing I need to operate this light. It's a little bit unique. Um, the three ways I had in here before didn't operate like that, I guess because of the neutral wire you have. I don't need this black one, so I'm just gonna cap that. It, it's not hot or anything, but I'll just cap it so it doesn't poke anything else. And then I've got the other black wire sticking out over there. So for this switch, I just, I just used the red and the white wire. Um, again, the traveler and the neutral. And so, I guess if I did draw out a diagram again, a master's back on that wall, and then I've got the add-on there, and then the add-on here. And again, you'll see they all appear to work. <laughs> so I hope that video was helpful. I am not an electrician, I am a DIYer. So I've done these um, with the three ways several times. The four-way was a little bit of a challenge for me, but uh, I hope this video will help you.